Allahi Rahmani Rahim. Dear viewers, we are going for the next part of our tutorial course on 15 storied building design and prototype structure 2019. So let's start. This is our column configuration. This is share all, and this is the basement wall. Initially, we are choosing two types of column. This 40 by 90 and this one 1 meter by 60 centimeter. We can change this column section after finalizing the design. Now, go to prototype structure, select the column here. If we want to uh, import this column section from section manager, we can do it here. The different section available in the section manager. Steel, built up steel, cold formed, composite, other section are available here. And as per the different country settings now concrete here we will go by manual dimension here i will provide 900 millimeter by 400 and if there is any eccentricity we can provide this eccentricity here now i will select the node for the column location here it is starting from the fourth grid to the last like this one two three four like this here we can change the angle 900 by 400 here 90 degree angle Or we can provide here 400 by 900 with 0 degree angle okay now for other location same like this here like this and this side like this here this grid to this grid this one and this one now we can modify this direction for this column Okay, this one delete this column properties and change it to zero. Okay, and this one also. We can select multiple columns. We can select all these and right click properties. Here we can select like this, then press the dimension 400, press enter, and here 900, press enter. So all will be changed. Now close. See here this all direction changed. Now this is our columns here there is one extra column we will delete this one now go for other section here 600 by 1000 millimeter you can put like this
now we will go for this basement one go for one this width of the one 400 millimeter now here you can draw this one like this okay now for the column we can move this column using the arrow option like this using arrow option we can adjust the column edges with our one we have in key keyboard up down right left arrow using that one we can adjust these columns this 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 now press arrow it will adjust with the edges like this now for this column also we can press arrow now for this one like this this one like this here also these two you can move like this now this is our column and basement one now we will go for this share all for lift core this one will take 30 centimeter or 300 millimeter for lift core wall here 300 To draw wall at the middle of this wall portion, we need to draw axis here extension like 300 or 400 millimeter. Grid here. If you press Ctrl, it will go horizontally or vertically like this. this is this grid option or axis option here in prota have giving us the advantage because here we can see this is the column the single line of this column going through the grid intersection so it will, when it will analyzes its building the line element will pass through this node and for this axis intersection node facility we can get the output drawing exactly what we need now here if we want to change any column section before that we will provide this wall here done so this is our 
lift core wall for example here we want to change our column using section designer or section editor we will click on polyline column editor here section edit here we can select any node to move this one like this like this manually we can provide the node vertex in here vertex information point coordinate here okay close this one now for this column we can provide automatic containment like this from here to here we can provide like this this will change the direction like this left side of the mouse press and drag like this way to draw link like this if we want to add more bar here at the corner like this we can add for adding additional bar in between two vertical bar we can select the node of the link from here to here and number of intermediate bar we can provide number one if it is one one then if it is two then two we can change diameter here so press okay like this same way from here to here one like this from here to here if it is two it will come to here one from here to here one okay in this way we can provide our edited column section using polyline column editor here click on ok see here the section edited accordingly now we can draw our beams to beam the width of the beam will take 400 and depth here 800 from here to here new beam crossing over other beam to split uh, we don't want to split click on no like this here in this software you can see this beam is not overlapping over the basement wall or the core wall where there is nothing in the span it is modeling the beam automatically in other software if we do the same then there will be overlapped beam on the wall or other structural element now i will select this and press delete unmark the axis select the beam okay delete this one same way this one control this one then delete like this and here this column this beam and this beam we don't need so this is our columns beams basement wall and lift core wall in the next tutorial we will see how to model this ram so here we cannot draw beam so this one delete 
this one delete we can see in 3d view this is the 3d view here from this top of this wall the ramp will go down to here so here for the obstacle we cannot provide this to be okay so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update